In this short documentary, I'll be looking at the issue of homelessness within the UK and in Birmingham in particular. I spoke with the guys at Birmingham City Mission on how they're tackling the issue of homelessness within Birmingham. My name's Steve Bagnall, um, I'm a support worker with Birmingham City Mission and I have two roles. I work here at the care centre, um, which is where we, we serve the guys a hot meal in the evening, we introduce a Bible message and we help with homelessness. And um, We have another, um, another place called the Resource Centre, um, where we help the guys move on, so with furniture and with clothing and an actual food bank there. So I work, I work between both departments. Hey, my name is John and I'm the care centre manager of the drop-in project which Birmingham City Mission runs. I started as a volunteer about 28, 29 years ago. We used to take a double-decker bus out onto the uh, ball ring down by St Martins where we used to feed and serve hot drinks to the homeless and they'd come onto the bus and that's what I used to do as a volunteer. I was homeless myself. Um, so I, um, you know, I was brought up um, Sutton Coalfield. Um, broken home but didn't really want for anything if that makes sense and you know I had a degree and, um, and decent job, went out to Australia to work, came back, um, did quite well for myself and I hit a spiral of depression, which is very real. Um, so within sort of six months, I was I was um, completely down on my luck, um, and and sadly tried to take my own life. Um, went into a, a huge hostel, my first experience of homelessness, really. So thankfully, I wasn't on the street. Um, I was in a 98 bed hostel, which is literally just down the road from here, um, surrounded by people with, with with drug addictions, mental health issues, alcohol addiction. You know, completely alien world. Um, and then Birmingham City Mission helped me out. So when I, when I moved out of there into a, a small sort of studio flat, um, they offered me a food parcel, I asked if they needed any volunteers, and, and, and here I am. So you know, sort of four years later from that, I'm a, a member of staff here offering the same help in return that I got. Homelessness is a very big subject. Um, over the number of years that I've been seeing it, I've seen a big change within the homeless um, sector. One of the biggest problems that causes homelessness is a breakdown in relationships and sometimes those breakdown in relationships can be a result of drug misuse, alcohol misuse or it could be uh, mental health issues. The general public tend to see homelessness as just what they see on the streets i.e. people sleeping rough, people begging on the streets but in actual fact, that's only a very small percentage of what homelessness is all about. Homelessness can include the people that are living in the hostel up the road from us, which has got 98 beds and they haven't got a permanent address. Homelessness can also include people that are living in B&Bs without a permanent address. It can include people that are living in squats. It can include people that are sofa surfing or stopping with their mates that haven't got a, be, a, be a permanent address. So homelessness is much bigger than what you actually see on the streets in and around Birmingham. Anyone walks through the Birmingham city centre will see homelessness is very real. It exists. It's <clears throat> arguably worse than it's ever been over the sort of the last maybe 10 15 years you know sort of i know the 80s was rife but if you look you can see it on a daily basis um huge conversations as regards to who's homeless and who's not which people who are begging are legitimate or not and you know huge issues that we have to um sort of solve and, and understand on a daily basis we have uh, a government count that's taken place every year um, and having been on that government count and see how they do it and all the rest of it, um, they generally try to keep the numbers down of homeless people they find because they don't want it to make it look as bad as what it actually is. Because if the problem is seen to be a great thing, then it means they've got to spend money on it to try and put it right. No one grew up wanting to be homeless. No one live through their teenage years thinking, I know what I'll do when I leave school, I'll become homeless. <clears throat> a bad decision along the way, um, a, a bad group of friends, an unfortunate circumstance, a death. It could be a real mixture of things. And I think my situation shows that it can genuinely affect anyone. You know, we've known, we've known doctors, we've known people with very, very good jobs who've ended up homeless. And it is such an easy thing to get into. I think the big thing to get across is that there are solutions and in projects like ours and and there's various others out there 
need to all be working to the same goal to solve that. Regarding people that we're seeing sleeping on the tr streets, one of the issues that we're struggling with at the moment is there are a number of organisations, small charities, groups of people that are going out and they're feeding people on the streets, they're giving them food, they're giving them clothing, which is great and I understand why the members of the public want to do that, but at the same time it's causing a problem for organisations like ourselves that are trying to address the issues of homelessness and trying to get engaging with these people and get them out off the streets. The problem it's causing is the fact that um, a, great deal, a great deal of people are deciding to stop on the streets because they're being fed, they're being clothed and they're using their money to then spend on other things. So in a way, those groups are going out and they're actually supporting those people to live on the streets. Mm. When I worked in a hostel that Birmingham City Mission used to run, whenever we had somebody coming off the streets that was sleep, used to sleep in rough, you could always guarantee for the first so many weeks, possibly months, they might have a room that they'd sleep in, but they wouldn't necessarily sleep on the bed, they'd sleep on the floor because that's what they've been used to. And it took them a great deal of time to get all used to the idea of having a room where they would sleep and there was often times where some of them couldn't handle it at all and they only stopped with us for a few weeks. It's a huge debate um, as, as regards to whether more money is thrown at it or a different way of dealing with it. You know, government funding always helps, of course. To me, I don't particularly see a shortage of hostels and supported accommodation available. I think it is there. On the flip side, not all the hostels are great, not all the supported accommodation is great. Some of the guys will tell you that there's, we've got one guy in particular who said he'd rather be on the street than in a hostel because there's less chance of him getting onto drugs on the street, which is a, a fascinating concept um, to think of it like that. So maybe an improvement in hostels, an improvement in supported accommodation um, is certainly a, a big thing to focus on. I think there's been, it's wonderful that so many people are showing a heart for homeless work and I think the last two, three, up to five years in particular, you're seeing sort of independent teams going onto the streets and really showing a lot of love for the guys who are homeless and it's wonderful to see that. I don't remember that from sort of my teenage years, for example, I don't remember that sort of love being shown. Um, but again, just to go back to the fact that we need to be focusing on the same goal. We need to be, show them love, don't judge. And, and, you know, again, you know, never judge us to why they're there in the first place, but we need to be focusing on getting them off the street. When I first became a volunteer, I met the, um, the CEO of Birmingham City Mission and I'd mentioned to him that um, I'd wondered what it would be like to, to actually work with the homeless and to, to feed the homeless and, and share with the homeless. And his comment to me was, why don't you just come and see, come and spend a night with us and see whether it's for you. And if it's for you, we'll then take it on further. My comment to, to, to anybody that's interested in, in working with the homeless or being a part of the homeless scene is, if you feel that's for you, find yourself a project. There's lots of projects in Birmingham. You can look it up on Google, on internet. Find yourself a project that you feel would be suitable for your needs in what they're doing, whether it be people that are going out on the streets or whether it be people that have actual projects um, that people come to them. Find yourself a project, get in touch with them and make inquiries as to how you might become a volunteer with them. When I started volunteering, obviously I haven't been through that situation, it's perhaps different, but just get stuck in. Um, just be part of something and, you know, just... My life has changed so dramatically and I feel so much more fulfilled giving back. Um, I'm poorer than I was in work-wise than, than what I used to earn before, but I'm so much richer, I think, for doing what I do. Um, we're all human beings and we should all be in it together, basically. Um, I would genuinely encourage someone to come and volunteer, whether it's at our place or whether it's somewhere else. There's nothing to be fearful of. They're just normal human beings like me and you. Just made a bad choice along the way. Um, so I would definitely encourage anyone. Whether it was just giving something as opposed to actually coming and giving your time, um, we can all help in some way.
A massive thank you to Steve and John at Birmingham City Mission for allowing me to speak to them and understand all of the work that they do at Birmingham City Mission. If you're interested in joining them or even volunteering, I'll leave all their links in the description below and you can find out more about them there. A massive thank you for watching.